RJJ is five foot eleven inches tall. What's going on, guys? It's your boy Henry from HZ Gaming Nigel for you. Welcome to band. match number six tall. of my online it's undisputed beta number two Jr. career. This match was the following finest, what we called the drunk fight. Champion, if you watched that fight, that was definitely the sloppiest fight I had so far. I had no clue what I was doing. That dropped my record to 3-2 and 3 KOs. I am on a two-fight losing streak, and I need to redeem myself. So this fight, I crack my knuckles, I smoke my bow, and I make sure that I be on my A game on this fight. A super middleweight, a now, even though I haven't rewatched this fight, I know that pretty soon I am going to go on a nice streak. So let's see. How, I don't know where does it start. I know uh, in the beginning of the career it was a little rough while I learned all of these uh, glitches, while I learned all of the uh, what causes you to get stunned, uh, all of the spams that people use. And, uh, you know, once I get that out the way and I'm up there with, you know, with what the top guys are doing, then the whole thing the flips around and will be a lot more enjoyable. Here we go, Roy Jones Jr., Nigel Ben. And what I say you must obey. Good luck. We're hoping for an all, all right. If you see that I always stay stuck there in the beginning of the fight, that's because I press play or record on my capture card or I make sure that it's recording and then I forget to click back at the screen. <laughs> Happens all the time. People punch me all the time. <laughs> oh man, Nigel Bank came out swinging away. That was pretty good. So I already know that I'm fighting somebody that's uh, at least decent, you know. So far, Nigel Ben is doing a good job. He's not, he's not doing anything spammy. He looks like a straight-up fighter, simulation fighter. He's jabbing. He's going backwards. He's coming forward. He's throwing hooks. He's throwing straights. He's leaning back. You know, he's not just doing one thing like our previous opponents. <laughs> so it's going to be a good fight. I could tell. I think I'm doing beautifully. Uh, yep, I'm doing beautifully with my uh, distance control and landing that jab and counters. Also, nice power straight to the chest. Nice one, two to the face. Nice straight. Nice three punch combination to the body. So that's seven punches in a row. And a power straight. A oh, nice three punch combo. He landed a hard straight. Pretty good fight. I like the fact he's not a spammer. He looks like a straight up guy. Donest guy. Shout out to you. Uh, I don't know his name yet. I will put his name on, on the thumbnail. I put all names on the thumbnails, okay? You need to know uh, who am I fighting. Go to the thumbnail. I don't know. Look, his name is Karma. Okay, Karma. Nice one, two, two open the round. Nice one, two to the body. Nice. Oh, man. Nice start. There we go. Nice start. Nice one, two to the face. Another one, two to the face. On some Apollo Creed shit. <laughs> I'm doing Apollo Creed. Two, 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 two. Another one, another one, two. Bro, I don't need notifications right now. I'm recording. Nice power to the body. Nice double uppercut to the face, followed by a straight. Nigel Ben is trying. You can't say he's not trying. He's swinging. He's trying. I'm just being a little bit too saucy with my footwork on this fight. I love the way Roy Jones throw hooks to the body. Slow your roll. Slow your roll. <laughs> 
I like how I'm working that body, man. I'm trying to get him a little bit tired, get him out later, you know? That's going to take a toll on him later on because I'm managing my stamina beautifully right now. And the reason why my stamina is not going down right now is because I'm landing a lot. So when you land, uh, you get less punishment. Okay, I landed a little spam there. I landed like four power jabs in a row just to make sure that I got the round in the bag, you know? Remember, I learned that spam like two fights ago. <laughs> it's not a spam if you use it correctly. If you throw a power, power jab once in a while, power jab. Then power jab. As long as you don't spam it the way I just did it, one, two, three, four. Then you know. Well, I had to do what I gotta do. You know, I gotta make sure I got the round in the bag. I'm at 98 stamina. That's amazing for round three. So amazing. Oh, landed a power straight over the top. Another power straight. Triple hook, quadruple. Oh, I'm just. Oh man, I'm punching back time right now. Okay, as you can see there, guys, I landed like a bunch of power straights. I mean power jabs. <laughs> uh, don't do it like that okay i'm just remember i just learned that spam so i'm just trying to see how it works for me don't do it the way i did it there like just th threw four in a row throw it in moderation one two my one two sick in this fight my body work is sick in this fight Ooh, jab to the face, jab, uh, hook, right hook to the body. That was beautiful. Oh, again. <laughs> oh, dude. I'm, oh, man, I'm doing some beautiful combinations. Nigel Ben's trying, man. Give him to him, man. He's trying. He's overwhelmed, but he's trying. Double uppercut, triple uppercut. I got hit there in the inside. Oh, ooh, 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 ooh. Oh no, yeah, this is surgical. This is a surgery in section, ladies and gentlemen. Surgery in section. In session, my man. <laughs> Oh, jab to the face, power, 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 straight to the body. That was that. That scores points, man. Oh, look at my movement, up down movement. Oh, then I move down. I usually jab going up, but right there I went down and jab the opposite. Oh, I waited for him to miss, and then oh, dude, I'm. That was a perfect round. The only thing was missing from that round was a knockdown. But that was what you call a perfect round. I dread being a judge. My stamina, 93%. And we're heading into round number four. We're hoping for an all Up, 3 nothing, man. I'm surgery. Surgery in session. Ooh, jab and power to... Oh. Ooh, oh, double jab stepping backwards. Power straight. Oh, why is Nigel Ben still up? You see how this game... This game doesn't credit the boxer. You can look so beautiful and you don't get stuns. And then you look so ugly. That's how you get stuns in this game. That's why you're going to see me in future fights look ugly in order to get knockdowns. This game forces you to fight ugly. You see how they're not, they're not crediting me right now for my beautiful work? Because I'm fighting a little bit too, more, too beautiful. And there's a handicap. Uh, there's an invisible handicap bar in this game. I don't care who tells me not. Since he's losing the fight... The handicap is trying to help him. So anything he lands hard is going to knock me down at this point. Because this game is trying to make people happy. You know, and not feel like they're getting smashed. Okay, I know there's a handicap in this game. I know there is. I notice that when I'm winning big, I get no knockdowns. But when I'm losing, I get all the knockdowns. And that's how I come back. The game helps me come back. I hate that. Right now, I'm winning. So believe it or not, instead of me getting knockdowns, the game is going to give Nigel Ben knockdowns to catch up. Right now, it's going to be very hard for me to get a knockdown because uh, I'm winning by three rounds, by four now. Oh, I'm being surgical. Oh, my God. Look at this fight. I'm going to call this fight the perfect fight if it continues like this. I don't, I don't know what happens at the end. 
I don't think he's gonna win this fight the way I'm looking. Ten seconds left. I'm just letting it go because of due to my high stamina level compared to him. Oh, we traded there at the end. That was beautiful. At the end, we were both just ta 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 on some Rocky, you know? Look at it. We had the crowd going crazy at the end there. That was beautiful. I'm fighting a true sim guy. That's good. That's good. I'm not, he's not spamming at all. Much props to Karma. So, Karma, if you're watching this fight, uh, much props to you. You're a certified not spammer. You're a sim fighter. You see how he leans back in a defensive mode, but not in, in, in to spam, you know? He's doing it the right way. He's just being overwhelmed because Roy Jones is OP as hell, you know? Everybody knows that Roy Jones is OP. I do have a couple of wins with Nigel Ben over Roy Jones. Oh, nice one, too. I waited for him to miss and made him pay. Oh. Oh, man. You guys got to let me know in the comment section what you think about my combinations in this fight, man. I'm going up and down beautifully. Oh, my God. Look at that jab and the way I waited. Oh, yeah. Everything is perfect in this fight. I hope I don't get knocked down in this fight late, man. I hope this is not one of the tragedy fights at the end because I got a couple of tragedy fights. I have a fight guys and I'm winning like this the whole fight and then I get I get one punch knocked down in the last round and I can't get up I don't know why I couldn't get up I don't know why I failed to get up <laughs> so oh this fight is perfect my goodness I'm a little too much in this fight good fighter like Mayweather will say, oh, he's a, he's a, he's a solid competitor. <laughs> See, he's, he's a little stunned. He don't know what the, what the hell. He's just standing in his corner like, whoa, you know. He's completely outmatched, man. He's probably thinking he's fighting a developer or something. Like, yeah, my combinations are coming out that crispy. The, the reason why I'm able to get knockdowns now in this point is because I'm pretty sure you see my health right now He haven't barely hit me. Yeah, he hit me, but I'm the one hitting him the most So his energy bar gotta be less than half right now So that's why I should be able to get knockdowns out of a pure punishment. You know what I mean? So at this point it doesn't matter if he has a handicap You see he should be down right here. That's why I know the game has a handicap. He should be down right there Rewind the video. He got hit with like 20 punches in a row. He didn't go down. In what game you hit somebody 20 times in a row and they don't go down? That happened to me so many times during my career. It's almost like you don't want to be winning because you're going to get penalized. I haven't realized that yet in this point of my career. But later on, it affects me. It's by the back of my head, which every time I'm doing good, I know that I'm going to be penalized and it really pisses me off and uh, I hate that invisible handicap bar that they got they better remove that before the game launches because we are not stupid I I could we could clearly tell equality let's make the bums you know even though little bums don't do nothing they'll stick in there with the greatest no oh, no that's not the way it is man don't give me a trophy for being fifth place, man. Fuck the trophy when you're fifth place. Look at that. Ooh, beautiful. Right now, yeah, right now that Nigel Ben should be dead in any video game in history. Any boxing game in history, Nigel Ben would have been dead in round three. By round three. Not here though. Because of the invisible handicap bar that I'm talking about. I'm gonna talk about it a lot during my career. I'm gonna make a video about it as well. Ten seconds to go. They force you to spam in order. See, right there, I had to spam. 
I had to spam uh, power jabs in order to get my knockdown because the game just won't give me a knockdown the regular way. You have to spam or be losing in order to get knockdowns easily in Undisputed Beta. They've got, they're pretty sure they're gonna fix that later on. They better. So look at right now, look at what's going on right now. I'm whooping his ass so much and the game won't, won't allow me to finish the fight that I'm getting hurt trying to just by hitting his head. So I'm being penalized for landing shots. You know what I'm saying? He's coming like he got a chance still because the game will not allow him to go away. That's the only reason why he still got a chance in this fight. You know? Right now I'm supposed to be home. I'm supposed to be fighting the next person. This is ridiculous right now. See? So then it makes you frustrated. It makes you want to spam. Because at this point, like, bro, what do I got to do to take him out? Spam. We need to spam. Look, right now the game does not want Nigel Ben to go away. So look, I'm looking sloppier, right? Because I'm frustrated. You could clearly tell I'm frustrated. It's like, what else do I do to this guy? It's like Apollo Creed when he was fighting Rocky. You know, it's a movie. It's fake. Like, what else can I do? Look at his energy bar. He don't got no health. Look, he don't got no health. He's still hanging with me. Game, put him away. I hate that handicap bar, man. His energies to get up are still big. I'm telling you right now, his energy bars to get up because the game is still trying to help him. Even though he should be dead. Okay, undisputed. Please fix that. It's ridiculous. Get him out. Get him out. He got no business being in the ring with a guy with 75 health and 80 stamina. Get him out. See, I like getting my knockouts in this game, you know. I don't like decision, you know. So this game, I feel like it doesn't allow me to be a knockout artist. I'm a knockout artist in every single boxing game I ever played. I'm a knockout artist in this game when it's broken. <laughs> and I'm still a knockout artist. <laughs> so I got four wins, all four by KO, right? All right, guys. I know I ranted there at the end, but it's well-deserved because... Well deserved because this game just doesn't credit boxers. It pisses me off. So it's going to make me talk a lot of crap going forward. You guys will listen to it. Stay tuned for match number seven, guys. Your boy HZ Gaming signing off. Peace.